Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for June 19th, 2019. So happy hump day, everyone, and get ready for the Fed. Today is all about the Fed meeting. We're going to see whether or not the FOMC is going to maybe cut rates, uh, propose future rate cuts in their forecast. We don't know what they're going to do, but for sure and for certain, the market is certainly pensive about the, uh, the coming decision. So what's going on here in the market? Well, first off, um, Asian markets really rallied substantially overnight last night, and they um, that rally occurred largely due to um, you know phone call between uh, uh, the president and, and the Chinese leader and um, apparently some good words were exchanged they're going to meet at the G20 and um, negotiations between US and China uh, trade are resuming so some good feelings um, about that certainly helping the market yesterday as well as the ECB cutting rates or looking as if they're going to cut rates as well over there in Europe. Um, Asian, uh, excuse me, uh, European markets and um, um, U.S. futures are very, very flat, really pensive here this morning um, as we wait this rate decision. And I suspect we could see that kind of price action for the majority of the day. Very light and choppy. Maybe even a little profit taking after such a big move yesterday could come into play. But all it is is just really a, a chop, a wait. Um, all eyes are on the FOMC today. What will they do? How much will they give? And will they even um, modify their statement and, and their forecast for future rate cuts who knows but the market is certainly all wound up around that and we have rallied you know just on the proposal that we might cut rates this rally occurred so we've certainly moved a long ways now if the FOMC were to disappoint if the FOMC were to give something that uh, not so happy for the market um, if the market is disappointed, the question becomes, will we sell back off? If, they, if the market doesn't get as much of a cut as they're hoping for, um, this is a substantial rally um, on the hope of rate cuts. Who knows where we'll actually end up by the end of the day, but it certainly will be fun to watch. That we can be sure of. So pop some popcorn, put your feet up, and let's get ready for the show. Let's take a look at the technicals um, here in the chart, see what we can see. And right now you have to look at the diamonds chart. This is just full on bullish, um, rallying above the 50 day moving average, consolidating above there, and then moving on through to the upside. One thing that's interesting is our short term averages like the 34 and the 20 haven't even had time to catch up and get above that 50 day moving average yet because this was such an explosive rally. But other than that, we're all bullish. And, and when you look at this chart, there really isn't um, uh, all that much um, room to have to go to stretch up here to reach all time highs in the market to test those resistance highs. Seems to me like it would be kind of a waste of time to have rushed up all the way up into here and then not at least give it a shot up here to test those highs. And perhaps maybe that FOMC will give the uh, fuel for that to occur today. So let's watch that close. Let's take a look at um, this. Oh, by the way, I think we're going to be in great shape. Even if we do pull back, anything that holds above the 50-day moving average here holds above there any rest pullback consolidation or whatever would be perfectly acceptable in here um, and and not destroy any bullish intent here in the market a rally above here of course that would be that resistance that we uh, all-time high resistance and of course we have resistance in the chart right here that we would have to challenge first 
both of those seem very, very likely to me at this point. We'll just have to watch carefully and see how this plays out today. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, very similar situation, rallying sharply above its 50-day moving average. Once again, we went so far so fast that even our short-term averages haven't had a chance to catch up and really get lined up the way they should be. Uh, but um, we're certainly bullish here in the market, and there's really no way you can look at this chart without seeing bullishness. If I pull this chart back, you can see I've marked out here all-time highs in the market, the all-time high prints and close. And even though um, you can see that there was a little bit higher print right there, I kind of consider all of these tops right in here the, the true resistance of the market. Um, on the SPY. So we rallied very close to that yesterday and then sold off. Now this morning, we're seeing just a little tiny bit of weakness in the ES futures, but almost uh, basically flat. And any rest or consolidation in here, I think is perfectly acceptable. And anything that holds above that 50 day moving average area in the chart, um, I think re we remain very bullish in this, um, in this chart. I would want to hold above this downtrend as well. Um, breaking back down below that downtrend would be a little bit disappointing, but if we hold above there, I think we're bullish here in the market. We'll just have to wait and see how the market reacts to that FOMC. Will it be bullish or bearish price action? Um, only time is going to tell. Let's take a look at the Qs. Qs, very, very bullish yesterday, popping up strongly, popping right in. You can see I've, I've drawn this resistance line up here that kind of transfers all the way back over here to this high and across these uh, lows right here in this formation. And you can see we ran up there and kissed that almost to the penny yesterday uh, before we saw some sellers come back in and um, acting as if we kind of stretched that rubber band just a little bit too far. So any rest or pullback in here <clears throat> certainly would not be a problem. Right now, NASDAQ futures are actually looking for a little bit of a positive bump at the open. So we could see a little bit of bullishness in here, maybe a little bit of consolidation, but most, uh, most likely we're going to see a lot of consolidation today up until that 2 p.m. release of the uh, Federal Open Market Committee's decision on rate decisions. So we'll have to just wait and see. Once again, <coughs> excuse me, holding above that 50-day moving average area, I think is going to be critical for this chart. And we'll have to watch this resistance area up here as resistance. Um, perhaps we get just what we need and we pop out of here. And then we're on our way to attack the all-time highs in the market. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM is much more confusing in the sense that it is not even close to all-time highs. And it has been kind of been, well, a little bit like the boat anchor uh, to the market. It's kind of dragging its feet. It doesn't want to come along with the rest of the market. And as you can see, up here testing some significant resistance levels in the chart. And let's take a look at our moving averages. We're right here. We're trying to test the 50, the 200 day moving averages all combined right in this area. We're trying to lift above that. Question is, can we actually hold that? We'll have to wait and see. Perhaps the FOMC gives us that inspiration to do that. But even if we do get above those levels, just kind of note that we are still in a substantial downtrend here on IWM. And we would have to clear that before we really start improving here on those small caps. So watch that closely. And if we were to get a failure here, I think that could be critical and potentially even give the market some, uh, some pressure to lead it lower. We'll have to wait and see. But right now, IWM, really questionable here and um, really dragging its feet uh, for the rest of the market. We'll just have to stay focused on this and watch this closely, um, in case it starts to falter. Let's take a look at, um, the VIX. Yesterday, the VIX on such a big rally was kind of interesting. The VIX dropped and then began to rally a little bit as if a little bit of fear might be coming into the market. And there is a little tiny bit of price support 
for the VIX right here, where we caught that little support and really started to bounce back up. Now, anything is possible here today. So I don't know if we can really rely much on what the VIX is going to do prior to the report. There certainly will be a little bit of angst <clears throat> as we move toward that report, a little bit of um, pause, I think, for the market. But it's going to really be after that report when we really see uh, the true nature of the VIX. Are we going to get fearful? Are we going to... Um, be exuberant and excited about what the Fed has done and see this decline. So watch uh, the VIX closely later on today. I don't know that we can get much information out of it as we wait for that decision. Let's take a look at T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. Now you can see yesterday we pushed up substantially in um, uh, the T2122, and we've pushed right back up into that area where we have failed so many times, okay? So we're up here, we're testing this um, resistance area in um, T2122, that bearish reversal zone, where we might be reaching a little bit of an overbought condition. But keep in mind, we can certainly travel through that line up here and move right up into this area. As you've seen, we've done in the past, we can move right up in there. So there's still room for an upside move. It's, it's really going to be interesting to see how this reacts with the FOMC. One thing for certain, though, we have more potential room to the downside here than we do to the upside um, on T2122. So kind of keep that in mind. If the sellers do come on, if they're disappointed by FOMC decision to say today, we could see selling come in and, and there's a big open door for that to occur. Um, so watch that close. Let's take a look at... Um, our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar <clears throat> is all about the FOMC, but we do have um, the EIA petroleum status report. Now that petroleum status report has certainly been moving those oil markets around, so we'll want to watch that pretty closely at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. And then after that, you know, it's the Mac Daddy. It's all about the FOMC, the FOMC forecast, and then the chairman's comments after that expect considerable volatility to occur around this decision point. Um, there could be, uh, for that probably hour and a half, two hour um, period in here, uh, well, I should say an hour, I shouldn't say an hour, two hour, um, an hour to an hour and a half uh, would be more likely that we could see significant volatility as the market reacts to uh, Jerome Powell's statements, the forecast, and um, the actual statement from the FOMC. So kind of keep that in mind. Uh, be careful how you plan your day. It would be probably unwise to be loading up on positions ahead of the FOMC because um, the whip in that could certainly create some damage in your account. So it might be wise to just wait. Like I said, pop some popcorn, put up your feet, and let's watch the show because it's likely to get uh, pretty interesting later on today. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day, and I want to wish you great profits in your trading. This has been a very, very challenging market, and if you're struggling as a trader, hey, I, I feel your pain because um, just about every day this market is a gap or a reversal gap. Just, it's been very, very challenging to trade. I want you to know that that will change. We have to get through all of this uncertainty, the uncertainty of the trade war, the uncertainty of <clears throat> rate changes. And once we get through some of that uncertainty, we should or could calm down in the market and get back to some better trading. I know it's been a really, really tough time right now. There's so much turmoil um, overall in the markets, but... <clears throat> Hopefully, we will get uh, back to some better trading here soon. But there's been good money being made um, in this market, and if, um, even though it has been very, very challenging. So uh, congrats to those who have been making really good money. We've been making really nice money over in um, Right Way Options. But it hasn't been as, as productive as we would like it to be just because of the way the market is. We've been a little bit more subdued in our trading, being way pickier 
about the trades we make. That's kept us profitable, but we would certainly like to see this market calm down and get back into a better rhythm instead of just massive gaps up and down every day. So please understand, I understand you're, you're feeling challenged, but I want to encourage you to never give up because this market will be here. Um, tomorrow, the next day, and, and months and weeks and years after that, and we will find better market times um, where things smooth out a little bit. So never give up. Just keep working at it. Um, protect your capital. Times will get better. But today is likely one of those really good days to put your hands underneath your legs and set down firmly and keep them there rather than holding on to that mouse where you might be tempted to uh, take trades ahead of the FOMC. Let's take a look at, um, oh, by the way, um, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, do me a favor, click that subscribe button there on YouTube. And when that pop-up comes up, click that bell icon. It will um, give you this, um, it will notify you every time I post a video. And I want you to know that we're approaching 600 videos here on YouTube and lots of free information out there. The morning market preparation videos are not intended to um, predict which way the market is going to go. They're intended to give you all of the tools you, that you need to think about how you should approach the market for the day. If you find that helpful, please do me a favor. Click that thumbs up button, leave a comment, and please always feel free to share this video with any friends and family on your Facebook or Twitter feeds. I want to thank you all very much. Everyone who does that, you humble me. You are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate that. Let's take a look at some stocks now that could be setting up. Um, a lot of these are setup trades. A lot of these are let's wait and see what happens trades. But there are a lot of good stocks out there potentially setting up. So we want to pay attention to those. We want to watch for those good quality signals to occur. Let's take a look at AIG. Now you guys know I've been mentioning AIG for a while. Here's that beautifully tight consolidation in here. AIG moving in its trend and you can see it has that tendency. It just moves itself back over to its trend before it moves and we're moving this over toward its trend. Now I can't tell you or even promise you that this will break to the top side. It could break down but the fact of the matter is, because we are trending, I have to favor the upside, at least at the moment. AIG looking pretty good. I would have that on my list and be watching that for a trade. Keep in mind, any one of these stocks that I show you as um, in this uh, video are meant for a watch list. They're meant for your evaluation. They're not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. Take a look at McDonald's, MCD. MCD has been holding it very, very strong after moving through that 200 uh, uh, resistance level, all time highs here in McDonald's. Nice little pennant type pattern forming here, little consolidation. Let's look in, and watch here and see if this can gain the energy to pop on through and seek out those new highs. McDonald's might be a place to watch. Take a look at TTWO. TTWO holding this nice little trend, breaking its downtrend, and then finally breaking up through a significant resistance point in the chart. We're doing a lot of bouncing around in here, back and forth price action, but I'd keep an eye on TTWO. If this can pop on through, there may be some new highs coming in that chart or taking a look at. Um, other trades out there that I think could be setting up, Microsoft popping through that resistance here in that chart, showing bullishness, looking really good here yesterday as it moved on through that level. I've been mentioning Pfizer. Pfizer, um, you can see my alert here, that pink line, moving on through, breaking above, popping into this resistance area. Pfizer could start moving on through. Take a look at JCI. JCI challenging some resistance highs here in the chart, holding a beautiful trend. If that can complete this wedge and pop on through, JCI might be a place to look. TPX, TPX had that pop and go, pulling back sharply yesterday. That might be the end of this run, I can't be sure, but if we do find buyers here that stops this move and holds right in here, 
then we could certainly continue to make that uh, trend valid holding up and moving on higher. So one to watch, not one really to get too excited about just yet. How about Roku? Roku been holding in this nice trend, nice little consolidation pattern, getting tighter and tighter and tighter, showing strength here. At any time, Roku could be about ready to move um, one way or the other. You might want to keep an eye on Roku. Lots and lots of these charts like this right now setting up and continuing to look really strong. Take a look at Snap. Snap is one of those trades. There's that nice little consolidation moving over to trend and that response move after that. So one to keep an eye on. Little tiny guy to, to pay attention to might be AVP. Avon consolidating, moving over toward its trend. Very, very tight consolidation. Waiting to see if that can maybe pop out and move. So there's lots of charts to choose from. There's lots of these patterns showing up um, in, in uh, charts everywhere. And um, that gives you um, a good list to start working from a place where you can begin to uh, find these nice trending charts, waiting for the next trade, building that shopping list after this FOMC. These might be the movers and shakers that could really make some money for you. So watch that closely. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a great day. Be careful of this FOMC. Be watchful. Be thoughtful. Everyone take care. I want to wish you all the best. We'll talk to you all bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one.